to another episode of Backpack Bushcraft. Before I get into our lesson, please make sure you go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Last week as we was wrapping up our uh, canvas needle uh, review with the W. Smith & Sons uh, canvas needles, I said that we would be starting this week with cargo tape, but we're not actually going to start with traditional cargo tape or duct tape today. What we're going to instead focus on is making our own glue from Raw Hot Chew Toys. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I've put uh, the raw hide uh, chew toy, or whatever you want to call it, into the bottom of a five gallon bucket, filled up with water, and I put a basic jar on top of it just so it wouldn't float up. Uh, we'll come back for a few more. hours until it unrolled and you had this nice uh, flat piece of raw hide, a lot easier to work with. We're actually going to try to use this a little bit. Now, while I'm cutting this, I'm just going to be using my uh, Camillus drop point here and I just have a cutting board because I'm on my table if I was out in the woods you know I just have my own plank or something but you just want small pieces something like that will be fine That I could. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the raw hide and dump them out. I'm going to fill, put some water in here. I'm going to put it on my uh, electric range to boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to drop the temperature down to simmer, re add my raw hide, and let it cook for about an hour and a half. I do not want this to boil. If it boils, it's going to weaken my glue. So I want to keep a very close eye on this and I want to keep stirring it. And what I'm going to be using is just a chopstick. Show you kind of what we got working here. You can see that we don't have very much liquid, but here is the stick of it starting with. And actually, I'll a little bit on my fingers. I hope you can see how well the glue is wanting to bond to me now. It'll probably be better once I let it steep a little bit. Um, I didn't do the best. Um, I had some problems with the, it wanting to boil. And uh, uh, that's something that you really need to keep that close eye on. And I did the best I could, but what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to get the big pieces out. Okay, so what I'm doing here is uh, we're now going to take uh, just the little liquid we got out of it. And we're going to uh, pour it into these uh, small little uh, mason jars. I'm not even sure what the size is, but you know something small like that. Um, I'm also going to strain it through one of these uh, flower sack towels. And you can use an old shirt or any kind of cloth like that you had around. To me, this is gonna be the easiest solution. I want there to be a little divot in the center. That way, as the uh, liquid pours through, it won't uh, spill everywhere. stuff after I did this that there is some type of residue on the top uh, you know I could probably get rid of that so uh, but I do have my glue here again just a little mason jar if you had something metal would be a better choice but uh, again I always try to find something that is easy for everybody to pick up I got these at Walmart for like I think seven dollars or something like that for a big pack of it and all I want to do is close it up and let it cool overnight uh, once it's cool, we'll look at it, and I'll talk to you more about it tomorrow. Okay, guys, it's been about eight, six to eight hours, 
And uh, here we go. You can see, this is how Dave tested it, you can see it jiggle. Okay. Now what I'm going to actually do is uh, see if I can find me just something to cut a little piece out. We'll use this stick here. Uh, we'll just cut a little bit. Alright guys, so I tried to rub this between my fingers to see if that would uh, activate it. Uh, so that I could spread it onto something or I could start using it as glue. Unfortunately, in my experience just now, it didn't work. Uh, it could be the glue is weak or it could just be that the method is uh, just not, it is flawed. It's just not going to work. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted to be able to do that so I didn't have to heat this up on the trail since I put it in glass. Now, to warm it up in glass, it is not as big a deal as people would think. Pan, just heat it, just have boiling water in it, sit this in the boiling water. And it will, uh, you know, go back into a glue, liquid glue state. And that, and there you go. Then you'll be able to use it all you want. Um, but guys, I'm, I'm happy you joined with me uh, this week to make hot glue. Hope y'all try it yourselves. How's it to see everybody else's results? Uh, next week, we'll be working with cargo tape. Uh, I will show you my favorite bread. I'm also going to show you uh, some super glue from that bread and a bunch of other cool stuff like that. And, uh... You don't want to miss that, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, Backpack Bushcraft. If you want to, you can always uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Gmail at Backpack Bushcraft. You can also check out the website where I post Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 2 p.m. EST. That website is www.backpackbushcraft.com. And until next time, guys, keep those fires burning. Put another log on for me.